Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys is today's song. So, welcome to uh, Guitar Lessons Fast, Fun, and Easy.com or TribeMusicStudio.com and um, let's get started on Mamas. So we're going to do a close-up. Alright, so this song is in the key of D and the chords are D. G and A7 and I'm playing it like this which is actually G7 form uh, no, it may not look like it but that's what it is an A7 like this instead of an A7 like this this is actually A7 A7 form the real deal I don't want that I want this one so it's like making an A, however you make your A. Some people make it with these first three fingers. Some people like to do it like this, instead of like that. I personally think it should be done with the last three so the little finger gets work. So I'd squeeze in there a little easier than those first three. So it's like making that A, taking the first finger and barring it across those chords those strings like so and then the third finger here which is on the first string third fret getting that G you see when you make an A7 like so the real deal it's you've got an open G here well we're gonna move the G to here instead of there so we got that higher pitched G Stands out a little bit more. Sounds nice. So, that's the chord progression. Uh, uh, the chords in the song. Uh, G, uh, uh, excuse me, D, G, and A7. And it just so happens to be a coincidence that, that uh, that's the actual progression, too. It goes from a G uh, to uh, a, a D. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> excuse me. Uh, D to a G to an A7. All right. Now, the rhythm for this is uh, uh, the, the way I was playing that, the, the way I play it, the way I do it. Uh, I don't know for sure, uh, Willie, I'd, I'd have to listen to it. I think I'm pretty close, but anyway, this is the way I like to do it. It is bass note, so I'm in the, the D bass note, and then strumming down, up, down, up, uh, and then another bass note, and I like to do the alternating bass notes, so the one down below the the fourth string open it would be the third string, where right here, uh, this A, and hit that. That's my alternating bass note, and down, up, down, up. So it's bass note, down, up, down, up, alternating bass note, down, up, down, up. And we can count if you want to count. You don't need to count. You can count one for the bass note. And then for the down, up, down, up, you count two and three in. And then the alternating bass note, uh, two, two and three in. So we're counting one, two and three in. Two, two and three in. Three. If everyone likes to do this because it's almost you know it's one two and three and two two and three and three two and three and four two and three and it's almost like a tongue twister and some people don't like doing that so uh, if you're cool with that then great no one two and three and two two and three and three two and three and four two and three and or just simply one two and three and two two and three and one two and three do it that way instead or again you don't have to do it like that you can just simply go bass note down up down up bass note down up down up whichever one of these uh, works for you the best whichever one you relate to and you like best that's the one to use uh, you're right no matter which one you do so we got that D starts mama
Now that I'm finished because I did I counted the four there. I also I like to put a hammer on in that alternating bass note. So I go. That too you don't have to do if you don't want to. Uh, just play the note. Here it comes. Just play the note instead of the hammer on. If you don't want to do alternating bass notes, you don't have to either. You can do the same bass note, the D constantly. This too is entirely up to you. Alright, so after that D, counting to you know one, two, and three and up to four, switch to G. We do the same thing. We do bass note, the G bass note, right there. Sixth string, third fret. One, two, and three, and now I like to do the alternating bass note, which is this B right here. For two, two, and three, and uh, you, and I like to hammer it on. I should have my other guitar. It's easier. I get an open uh, A better. So one, two, and three, and two, two, and three, and three, two, and three, and four, two, and three, and. I'd be finished with the G and now moving on to the A7. But with the G too, it's the same thing goes. You can count, like I said, or you can just simply say bass note, down, up, down, up, bass note, down, up, down, up. And you don't have to hammer this on if you don't like. You can just play the bass note itself like so. Uh, or you also do not even need to do the alternating uh, bass note. You can just simply say with the G, like so. One, two, Bass note down, up, down, up, three, two, and three, and bass note down, up, down, up. We then switch to the A7, and we need the A bass note, which is the open A right here, uh, for one, two, and three, and two. The alternating one is right there. Bass note down, up, down, up, bass note down, up, down, up, bass note down, up, down, alternate bass note down, up, down. And here too, you don't need to alternate the bass note if you don't want. You can just stick with the A. And simplify it, make it easier. And that's it. Right, we go back to D and start all over again for Mama. Don't let your baby. Cowboys. Don't let them pick guitars, drive them old trucks, let them be doctors or lawyers and such, and so on. That's basically the whole tune. I do like to chuck in some, you know, other while little tidbits here and there but you don't need to do that because uh, we're trying to simplify the song so we'll back out okay so uh, like I said uh, that's it it's, it's a, a nice simple sweet country song uh, uh, Willie Nelson and the gang thanks Willie and uh, fun to do all right again hope uh, helps and that you like this song and and uh, you have fun with it. Thank you, as always, for being here. And I hope to see you again. Uh, bye.